Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my January favorites. I have an amalgamation of everything from skincare to makeup to food. Well, at least just one item and I also have some random stuff. So let's get started. I have quite a few things to share with you guys. I'm going to start with food first. This is the Indie Secrets um, garlic pickle and this is amazing. Like you have to try it it is it's yum like if you love garlic pickle and you want something which tastes homemade this is just for you the garlic um what do you call kernels are very very tiny so you can literally have like four or five each meal we loved it so much we literally finished it in 15 days and we have already reordered this one so that's how much i loved it and the moment i tried it i knew i had to recommend it in my favorites because I feel like everybody needs to try at least people who love garlic pickle pepper pepper pickle garlic pickle the next random favorite i have is this tripod here so i bought this from amazon and let me tell you the great part is you can use this as a selfie stick you can also use this as tripod like i just showed you and it extends so it goes all the way till here so if i want to vlog with my phone i can do that like i can literally extend this use it as a tripod put my phone here in horizontal mode and use it as a vlogging camera the other way that i can use it is just like you know put the phone vertically and use it for portrait shots that's not it you get like this bluetooth thing here so you detach this of course and connect it with your phone and you can literally click photos that's what i've been doing this month um i have clicked some amazing pictures with the help of this and let's say you want to use the back camera of your phone you also get a mirror here so you know when you put your phone here you can use the back camera of your phone and you can see yourself in this mirror okay it's not um like very good but at the same time it gets the job done and that's not it because you also get this light over here now this is completely discharged i have to charge this you get you get the portable charger thing so you have to charge this thing uh, the light is probably my least used you know aspect of this but if you still want to use this you can the only thing is it gets discharged very quickly that's the only thing but it has come in so handy i think i bought this this was for 600 or something but i think i paid um i don't know like 400 on discount so this is so so good um and of course it like let me show you so you can keep it like this so handy you can throw this in your purse i feel like this is going to really come handy for everybody who is a content creator and of course once you're done you can just put this back this bluetooth thing attach it close it and there you have it let's jump into skincare favorites now i only have two um so if you watched my previous haul i was talking about uh, this dhc cleansing oil i really wanted to try it i was actually going to place my order and then this came up in pr so i have been using this this tiny bottle lasted me i think um more than 30 days actually 2 months you only need tiniest bit of this like i feel like this is one of the most potent cleansing oils that i have tried it gets the job done so quickly with such less quantity um so this one was great i actually get the hype now this is really good another skin care favorite that i tried in the month of january was from formula rx this is their lactic acid serum this is not your conventional serum it comes in your cream format and they call this airbrush facial um i also tried their um, peptide ceramide barrier plus cream i'm still forming my opinion on this but this one i am blown away like i see the results instantly with this one i have of course tried other serums lactic acid serums but the results that i see with this is just instant and i understand why they are calling it like airbrush facial it almost feels like you just got a good facial done and i've been loving this it's quite nice it does not irritate my skin of course i've tried or like used it once when my skin was extremely dry and irritated from another product that i tried and then when i used it i of course felt 
um, that tingling sensation but I guess that was because my skin was irritated so of course don't use it on irritated skin but overall this is a really good lactic acid serum all right let's move on to makeup favorites I have so many I think I'm gonna start with the order of application so I tried quite a few primers uh, in the month of December and January and the one that absolutely stood out to me uh, was this one from Maybelline this is a fit me dewy plus smooth primer this is not new or anything this was just new to me um, and I and I get it like it's so so good it moisturizes your skin so well it it actually preps your skin as opposed to like just a primer which is just there adding a layer of something on your skin this is actually very very good worth the price and I've been absolutely loving this like every time that I'm doing my makeup when I'm not filming you know like today where I just had to get ready to film this video and I'm not filming myself this is what I've been using this is just like a trusted, reliable, good primer for um, dry skin. I don't think I'm ever going to invest in high-end primers meant for dry skin. You know, like the Hangover RX from uh, Too Faced was one of my favorite primers. Um, but I don't feel the need to invest in that anymore because I actually like this one a lot better than that. So that speaks something. Guys, I don't know if you're going to believe but I have mascara favorite in this favorite like if you watch me you know I don't experiment with a lot of mascaras and even if I do they don't end up in my favorites but uh, lately I have tried all the Nykaa mascaras this one these two of course the pink one and the black one and I have tried combination of all the four and in my opinion the best combination firstly yes I'm talking about combination all of these mascaras are great by itself but because I've been combining all of these mascaras I've come to a conclusion of the best Nykaa mascara combination and it is these two and not in any order the order is the yellow one first so the volumizing one first and then the green one I don't have the combination of these today I completely forgot and used the pink one and then green one so you don't see my lashes looking so so pretty I mean it's still good but the combination of these two is just so beautiful I had this combination in my blush favorites video and you guys really like my makeup that day I'm gonna insert pictures you will see like it gives you such good volume and length I just I really want to find a mascara which can give you that same effect with just one product and you don't have to use two but because I don't have any mascara which can give me similar result to the combination of these two I'm going to recommend it I don't feel bad recommending these because these are quite affordable and you will most likely find these on discounts that's what happened with me so I would highly recommend if you like I've never been someone who is just like happy with mascara look you know like just mascara and yeah I don't wanna I don't feel the need for lashes I've never been that person if you have noticed like every time I'm doing like a special occasion makeup or something I would always put on a pair of lashes but now with the combination of these two I am quite comfortable in my latest videos also you will see I've not used any lashes um, I don't think so maybe once in the real love video but other than that I have not been like relying on lashes anymore to complete my looks so I have some lip products to talk about and if you have watched the previous video you know that Makeup Revolution Bon Bon was going to be featured in this video. Again this is what I had in the blush video that I did recently and you guys love that makeup and this is what I was wearing even in that video right yes this is what I was wearing it's such a beautiful color this is the shade and that's the finish so it has a very like powder matte finish but it's a very comfortable finish it's not just the shade that i love it's also the finish and the formula it's a very comfortable matte bullet lipstick and i'm actually looking forward to trying some other shades if you guys have any recommendations in this range let me know another lip product that i absolutely thoroughly enjoyed using was this lacme absolute um lip gloss spotlight lip gloss and i have it in the shade mocha brown i loved it so much that i went on to nika and checked if they have any other nude shades because yes it's a beautiful color but it's not for your everyday look like i can't use this for my everyday this is like proper brown as you can see um it sits so beautifully on the lips the the look at i mean look at the pigmentation right like i love this it's so beautiful it goes on very opaque does not feel heavy like if it felt heavy this would not have been in my favorites because I hate lip glosses in general I just cannot 
you know handle that feeling of something sitting on my lips but this does not feel like that at all if anything it feels like a nourishing lip product which has like a very consistent color throughout i just wish that you know lacme expands their shade range in this and bring out more nudes i would definitely be on board if they do that and i would highly recommend this now this month for me was all about clean and natural looking makeup and a part of that was blush of course and not just any blush it was specifically cream or liquid blushes so i have here two by the way i have made like a dedicated video on all the blushes that i've tried this month i've rated them all i've gone into details if you have not checked it out i'm going to place a card here and also in the description box below so you can see or you know you can hear me talk about all of the blushes the two that absolutely stood out to me has to be these two the first one is from relove again this is from makeup revolution and this is baby tint very very affordable but not just any shade particularly the shade blush it's the reason i love it so much is because it not just performs great on the cheeks but also on your lips um this has been my everyday color like actually these two have been my everyday color the bon bon shade and this one but yeah like it's such a beautiful lip tint also like it does not settle into your cracks it just sits like a nourishing layer but it sets like it looks glossy but it sets it's so weird like i love it i love it so so much i just hope that if you guys have other shade recommendations for me let me know because i tried the shade coral i did not like it as much so if you have other shade recommendations that you absolutely love let me know and the other blush is also from makeup revolution this is their super dewy liquid blush i tried two shades and the one that i absolutely loved the only problem is they don't have the name on the packaging they only have the name on the unicorn which i have to now go and find but i i think this is flushing for you if i'm not wrong but again i'll let you know the shade range shade name at least on the screen or even in the description box below but i absolutely love it it's such a beautiful just like um pinky pinky coral shade and i see myself using this a lot in the coming months also this would be such a beautiful just summer spring um liquid blush love it i cannot recommend this enough if you're on a budget i think you should check this out but if you don't mind spending a little bit extra this is also great now this last product i think i should give an honorary mention in this video because the concept is so unique and not just that i have actually been using this quite a lot in this month so this is actually from makeup revolution again i have a lot of makeup revolution favorites but this is their balayage brow i felt like the concept is so unique so let me tell you all the features this eyebrow pencil has to offer firstly it comes with two different tips of the pencil so you get this triangular one and you get the um, pointy one which is awesome and not just that the tone of this is supposed to be a balayage so like a lighter color and then the darker color the only con that i have to talk about is the lighter color has a shade of brown like um it's not brown brown but the undertone of this is slightly brown whereas the darker color is like proper black not black but the darker color has black undertone at least whereas this one does not the lighter one that's the only issue but if you have sparse eyebrows and you want to like create hair like strokes i have sparse eyebrows especially over here and every time i'm doing my makeup where i want my eyebrows to look very snatched but also in a very natural way i have been gravitating towards this because with the pointy end i can create hair like strokes over here and with the triangular end i can do the rest of my eyebrow and it's it's quite nice the formula is very nice not too creamy it's not too hard where you have to like scratch your eyebrows to do it uh, so yeah i had to mention like i feel like this is so so unique the shade that i have is dark brown but yeah if they could just fix this this will probably become my favorite brow product so yeah with that we have come to an end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know your favorite slash favorites in the comment section below i think i just smudged it on my pant oh my god oh my god why 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 <sighs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel you can click on the bell notification right next to it follow me on insta and that's pretty much it i'll see you in my next video bye bye